Okay, greetings one and all, and welcome to day number two. This has to be day number two, week um, week 12, fall 2024, about joining together. And it's definitely a delight to have each and every one of you here for this evening's classes. Um, if you are unable to speak, I'm about to mute your mic. Again, if you're unable to speak, I'm going to mute your mic. Please ensure that you have your writing utensils, something to write with. Something to write on and something to write with. Good night. Good night. Um, good night. Good night. Also, please ensure that. Um, also, please ensure that you have your name um, in the Zoom link so I could be able to know exactly who you are. All right. Good night. 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 Um, let's begin. Good afternoon. Good night. Good night. Um, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right, let's start. So we're going to head up. Um, my name is Mr. Petit. Write this down for me, please. Um, today is what Monday. Tuesday, Tuesday. It's Tuesday, the 19th of November, 2024. The subject is, of course, mathematics. And we're going to be looking at, um, going to be looking at topic is simplifying algebraic. Um, expressions. Uh, we really want to focus on distribution today. Distribution property. So we're going to be looking at simplifying algebraic expressions. Oh, did we finish our rules of indices? Yes, we finished that. So um, we're just going to be looking at how to simplify more algebraic expressions. Um, that's what we're going to be dealing with today. Remember, please write this inside of your book. Make sure, please copy this down inside of your book. If you have any questions, please let me know. Like, make sure if you don't understand something that you make it very clear to me so I could know and I could explain it over for you again. Um, make sure you take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, make sure anything you have, um, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp so that we can um, do, do it, okay? Uh, once I once I do the notes, take a picture of it and send it to me if you what's up. Excuse me, Mr. Witty. Go ahead. That's me, Paris. Yes. Um, I today in school I finally did the conference of a circle. Uh huh. And I do radius and uh -huh. diameter. Oh, okay. So they finally got on it. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay, that's good. Was it easy for you? Did you understand what to do? Yes, yeah, so it was easy. That's good. Perfect. Um, um, let's begin. Let me make this smaller. Um, so again, our goal is to simplify. Let's say that we have, let me write the instructions. So the instructions are, We want to simplify the following algebraic expressions. That's what our goal is. Simplifying the following algebraic expressions. And so let's begin. All right, question number one. We say, let's say we have um, number one, let's say we have, let's say we have seven, open bracket, X 
plus 2y close bracket plus well not plus that's two subtraction oh oh that's gonna be interesting minus 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 three Oof. minus three Open bracket x plus four y, and so our goal is to simplify this algebraic expression. So again, what do we have? We have seven open bracket x plus two y minus three open bracket x plus four y. Um, anyone have any ideas of how we're going to do this? How are we going to simplify this? Do the brackets first. Do the brackets first? What do you mean? What could we do with the brackets? Like, solve the stuff that's inside first. Who's it speaking? Crimson. Um, how are we going to add x plus 2y? What are we going to do? Can we add, can we add x plus 2y? Good night. Sorry I'm late, Mr. Buddy. Good night. Can, I miss Can, I? Can we no. add x plus 2y? No, sir. So, um, no. Wait, is it like the same thing with the exponents from last class, like right. where it's like no numbers automatically a 1? Or no? Can no. I miss Mickey? No. No. Multiply the number on the outside by the numbers on the inside. Who's that speaking? Trinity. Trinity what? Stuart. Trinity. Stuart. Stuart? Um, you have, else? you have to distribute distribute uh -huh. the seven times the x and uh -huh. then seven times the two y and then minus and then you do the same distribution three times x uh -huh. then three times four y uh huh very good so we're gonna distribute right um so. We're gonna take the seven, right? We're gonna take the seven, let's use this color. So we're gonna take the seven and we're gonna multiply it by the X, right? And then we're gonna take the seven and we're gonna multiply it by the two Y. All right, y'all understand that? So we say seven times X so multiplied by seven times two Y. What is seven times X? That gives us what? Seven X. 7x, very good. It's going to be 7x. 7x. Again, class, what is 7x? I mean, sorry, what is 7 times x? That gives us what? 7x. 7x, 7x, very good. Now, what is 7 times 2y? It's going to be what? 7 times 2y. What is that? Oh, um, 14y, 14y. What do you say, um, Mitchell? People like that is they in like variables. Um, Shania Mitchell, you have something to say? 14y. 14y. 7 times 2y is going to be 14y. Very good. So 14y. So we say 7 times x, which is 7x. And we say 7 times 2y, which is 14y. Does that make sense? I mean, if that makes sense. Yes, sir. So, so, so. You will say it again, please. I just submit So we say 7 times x, which is 7x. We say 7 times 2y, which is 14y. All right? That makes sense? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Now, what are we going to do with the 3 or the negative 3? We're going to say negative 3 times what? Yeah. x gives us what? 3x. No. Uh, um, negative 3x. Negative 3x. Yeah, negative 3x. So we have negative 3 times x, which is going to be negative 3x. And then we have negative 3 times 4y, which gives us what? Negative what? 12y. Negative 12. Negative 12y. Yeah. Negative 12y. Yeah. All right. 
class. Do you all understand that? Let me know if you all understand that before I move on. Yes, sir. Okay. I understand it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So we have, I did it like the last four weeks ago. So we have a negative 3 times x, which gives us negative 3x. We have a negative 3 times 4, which gives us what? Negative 12, right? It's negative 12. Yeah. So are we done? Or we have to do something else? What do we have to do now? Collect the light terms. Collect the light terms. Very good. So we have um, to say, we're going to say um, 7x combined with what? Negative 4x, a negative 3x. So we bring them together. Oh, you group up. I'm you group up for science and science. How do you get 12? How do you get 12? 3 times 4. Okay. 3 times 4. So it's going to be 7x. Right. 7x minus what? Minus 3x, right? And then we have to group the what? The y. 14 y. 14 the y's. Y so we're going to say positive 14y and negative what? 12y. So we group them together. And so we have positive 14y minus what? 12y. Minus 12y. Very good. Does that make sense, class? Let me know if that makes sense. So yes, far. Yes, yes, sir. No, sir. I come late. I don't no. Okay. So what the first thing we do, um, Miss Morris, is yes. we take seven times x, which gives us what? Seven x. Very good. And we say seven times two, which gives us what? Fourteen. So what? how come you still use it again twice? Yeah, because it's called distribution. So we take the seven and we distribute it across the expression. So we multiply it twice, all right? So seven times x, which gives us seven x. Seven times two, which gives us, I mean, sorry, seven times two y, which gives us 14 y. That makes sense? Excuse me, Mr. Yes, Petit. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Uh -huh. Go ahead. How, how did we... The health organizations... How did I what? Okay, then we say, Miss Morris, then we say negative three times X, which is what? Negative three X. Negative three X and then negative three times four, four Y is going to be negative four, negative 12 Y. Make sense? Excuse me, Mr. Petit, how do we get the plus sign? The plus sign, where the plus sign is? At the bottom. Right there, we come into that right now. So now we have seven X plus 14 Y minus three X minus 12. What we're gonna hello. do is we're going to take the, hey, the x. Hello, hello, hello. We're gonna take the x's and group them together. So we have seven x and negative three x. We group them together, and then this is positive fourteen y. This is positive fourteen y. So we take the positive fourteen y, right? That's how we have the plus, Crazy. Okay. right? So we have the positive fourteen y minus what 12 y. 12 y yeah minus 12 y and so what we have is going to be equal to what um four, four okay. x so seven x minus three x is what four x gonna be equal to four x see if i need to change the color gonna be equal to four x it's gonna be four x four x uh, plus, what is 14y? 4x plus 2y. What is 14y minus 12y? 2y. 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 Very good, 2y. Um, do you all understand this? Let me know if you all understand this, please. Yes, Let me know if you yes, understand sir. this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, do we need another example or we could go to the great exercise now? Another example. Another, another example. example, please. Another example. All right, all right, we'll do another example. Another example. Mr. Yeah. Petit, I did this inside grade seven before. I understand this. You understand it? Okay. There's not a second one. 
Simple work. Simple work. Okay, cool. Okay, okay, Jeremiah. <laughs> All right, so that's the one. It's light work. No yak. No yak. Okay. All right, sure. I can't wait to the great exercise. Number two. <laughs> So we have um we have eight open bracket x plus um x plus three y plus bracket minus four open bracket x plus x plus 5y. All right. And so let's go ahead and do this. Um, What's the first thing that we're going to do, class? What's the first thing that we're going to do? What's the first thing that we're going to do? Distribute the 8. Distribute the 8. So it's gonna be eight multiplied by what? X. 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 So we have eight multiplied by X, which gives us what? Eight X. Eight X, very good. Um. By the way, are y'all writing this down? Let me know if you're writing this down, please. Are y'all writing this down? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The rest of you, are you writing this down? Who didn't answer? Are you writing this down? Let yes, me know. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, good. So we have Jeremiah Rule. Are you writing this down? Yes, sir. Okay. Um. So we have. 8 times x, which gives us what? 8x. And then we have 8 times 3y. And 8 times 3y is what? What is 8 times 3y? 24 by? 24y. 24. 24y. 24. 24 Very good. Um, Jeremiah Rule, are you there? Where's Jeremiah Rule? Jeremiah Rule? Yes, sir. What is eight times x? Eight times x. Eight. What is eight times x? It's right there. It's right there. What is eight I, times? I, what is eight times x? Twenty. Um, no, eight times x is eight x. You see that? Oh yes, sir. What is eight times three? What is eight times three? It's right now. 24. 24. So let's try it again. What is eight times X? Eight, um, eight X. And what is eight times three? Um, tw eight, um, 24. Very good. So it's eight X plus 24 Y. And what else are we going to do, class? What else are we going to do? Um, negative four, negative four, um, distribute. Negative um, four. Uh huh. Negative yeah. four multiplied by x, and then no, be four x. Let me um change this color. So it's gonna be blue. So we have we have negative four multiplied by what? X. X is gonna be X. what? Four x. Negative four x. Negative four x. Negative four x. Right. So we have. Negative four multiplied by x, so it's gonna be negative four x. And then we have plus. negative four multiplied by what? Y, which gives us what? Negative what? Negative, negative 20 y. Negative 20y, yeah. Negative 20y. All right. All right. Um, are we done? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No. What we have to do now? No, sir. Excuse me. No, but
Means now only eight x and a four x. What we have to do now? Bring down the eight x and put everything. I'm um, putting everything in order. Like yeah. Everything in order with um the signs. Yeah. So group group the. Yeah. Group, group them. Group, group them. Right. Yes, sir. It's gonna be. Um, it's gonna be. Um, 8x, 8x, 8x subtract, um, wait, hold on, 8x, 8x. subtract, um, 4, 4, 4, 4 yeah, minus 4x, yeah, negative 4x, negative 4x, so we have to bring them together, right? Yes, sir, it's gonna be equal to, uh, negative, we know, so wait, 8x, no, be 4, 8x, yeah, yeah. The 4, the 4. why are you saying positive 4? Isn't oh, it's minus, I, I read the equation, I read the equation, yeah, 8x, Minus what? Four x. Four x. Four x. Okay. And then what else are we doing now? It's gonna be what? Put in the um. Twenty four y. Positive twenty four y. And the negative twenty y. Negative twenty y. Very good. So it's gonna be twenty four y minus twenty y. So it's gonna be plus twenty four. Y Excuse me, minus Spitty. one, minus one second, minus twenty Y. Okay, and that equals to what? That equals to what? Four X. Eight X minus four X plus four Y. Four X. Four X. Four X plus. Four and twenty four so minus wide. twenty is what? Four. 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 Plus one. Four. 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 Plus what? Four. Four y. Yeah. All right. Can we simplify this further? No sir. No sir. Why not? Because the they two different letters. They different. Yeah, the variables are, are not not the same, right? The variables are not the same. The, Go ahead, Antoine. Uh, it keep on my end. It keep cutting out and freezing and kicking me out. I write this down, but I don't know what we doing. Okay. Um. Well, the first thing we do, Antoine, we say eight times x, which gives us what? Eight x. And we ask them. We say eight times three, which gives us what? Twenty four. So it's going to be 8x plus 24y. Then we say negative 4 times x, which gives us what? 4x. Negative 4x. And then we have negative 4 times 5, which gives us what? Negative 20. Negative 20y. That makes sense? The first line makes sense? Yes, Good. Then we say 8x, we group down, we group the like terms. So we say 8x minus 4x. So again, we have 8x minus 4x, right? So we have to subtract. So 8x minus 4x, right? That makes sense. And then yes, we sir. say 24y minus 20. 24y minus 20. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Good. So we have 8x minus 4x, which gives us what? 4x. Good, and we have 24y minus 20y, which gives us what? 4y. 4y. And so we get 4x plus 4y, and that's our final answer. That's our final answer because we cannot continue any further. That makes sense? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, Class, does that make sense to y'all? Let me know, please, if that makes sense. Yes, sir. Like, we're yes, no, sir. Yeah, can. Yes, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I want you all to take a picture of this and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, take a picture of this and send it to me via WhatsApp. Take a picture of this and send it to me via WhatsApp. Mr. Bati, I have a question. Go ahead. What if you only have like one number with one letter, right? Like X, but the rest of the numbers it is have a different letter next to it. Um. If it's unlike terms, you cannot add or subtract, right? It's unlike. If it's unlike, you can't add or subtract. Yes, sir. Um, 
Okay, where is um Wyatt? Are you writing this down? <clears throat> yes, sir. You understand how to do this? <clears throat> yes, sir. Um, Jeremiah, do you understand how to do this? Jeremiah rule. Yes, sir. And have you written this? Have you written this down and sent it to me, Jeremiah? Yes, yes, sir. I send it to you. Okay, and Trinity Cash, what number you on? Are you finished? I'm finished. I send it to you. Trinity Stewart, you finish? No, sir. Trayvon Cambridge, are you finished? Yes, yeah. Tori, Tori Miller, where's Tori Miller? Tori Miller, can you hear me? Tori Miller, can you hear me? Tori Miller, can you hear me? Um, I can't hear from Tori Miller. To um, Tanaya, you finished with this? That's Tanaya. Um, Stavania Rule, where's Stavania? Yes, sir. Are you finished? Yes, sir. That's good. And, um, Stanley, you finish? But the day don't tell us how you should right? No. Stanley, where's Stanley? Stanley, where's Stanley? Stanley, Eugene, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, you finish? Yes, sir. Say it again. Yes, sir. Okay, good. I don't know, I guess some um, customers aren't the priority. Um, All right, let's go ahead and do a great exercise on this. So we have, um, let me um, do this like this. Oopsies, let's do it like this. Cloud drawings. Okay, so let's move on. Um, it's gonna be graded exercise number one. So I want you to do these three on your own. Let me write them on the board. Um, once you finish with it, I need you to send your in your work. Take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp, and then we can uh, go over it together. So the instructions here is to simplify the following um, algebraic expressions.
All right, let's go ahead and answer these questions. So let's say I have, let's say I give you all, say we have um, number one. Mm, I want red. Number one. Let's say we have nine. Um, open bracket. X plus four Y. Close bracket minus two open bracket x plus five y x plus five y close bracket. Then we have a number two. We have seven. We're in bracket. X plus X plus five Y. Close bracket. Minus three. Open bracket, x plus 2y, x plus 2y. On my three, we have We have 10, open bracket, 2a plus b, minus 4, open bracket, a plus 3b. No, let me not make that for us. Let's say this is um let's say this is so this is two a two times three is six. Yeah, yeah, good. Good, good, good. All right, perfect. I need you to do these on your own. Um Anisia, what number you on? Are you on? Where's Anisia? What number you on? What number are you on? Uh, I just reached home. I haven't started yet. Okay. Um, Destiny, what number you on? Number one. D'Angelo Smith, what number you on? D'Angelo Smith, what number you on? Number one. D'Angelo Smith, where's D'Angelo Smith? Yeah, so number, two. number two, you understand what to do? Yeah. Freddie, what number you on? Freddie, what number you on? Yeah. Freddie, what number you on? I on number three. Number three, okay. Um, do you understand what to do, Freddie? Yes, sir. Okay, and Gil Rihanna, what number you on? Number two. Ivory, um, Mackenzie, what number you on? Number one. You understand what to do? Yes, yeah, so. Ivan Green, what number you on? He's still on number one. Do you understand what to do, Ivan? Um, not fully. Not fully. Did you see the examples? No, sir. I, I joined late. You didn't see the examples I just showed? Um, 
They saw some of it, but they didn't. Uh, they didn't know why you explain it. Did you did you write it down? I did start to. Okay. All right, we're gonna go over it and then I'm gonna show you how to do it. Jeff Tanik Murphy, where's Jeff Tanik Murphy? Jeff Tanik Murphy. Um Jaden Bratchett or where's Jaden? Yeah, so. What number you on? Number three. Number three and Jeremiah Roll. Where's Jeremiah Roll? I can't know if I'm Jeremiah. Jeremiah Johnson, are you there? Yes, sir. Um, what number you on, Jeremiah? Number two. Have you been coming to classes? Or no? It's the option for the last couple of weeks and the last couple of days because I was sick. Oh, you were ill. Okay. So, um, but do you understand what we're doing today? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I need you to take a picture of your notes and send them to me. Were you here yesterday? No, sir. Okay. I need you to send in your work and take a picture of your notes and send it to me, okay? Already did. Already did. What number you on now? Number two. Okay. And Cameron, what number you on? Finishing up number three. Finishing up number three. Kylie and Kyla, what number you all on? Kylie and Kyla, what number you all on? Kylie and Kyla, what number you on? Kylie and Kyla, can you let me? Let me know, please. Kylie and Kyla. Is there anyone who's finished? Is there anyone who's completed? All three? I am. Anyone who's finished? All three? I am. I'm going to message. Put it in the chat now. Okay. Anyone else who's finished with all three? I am. Okay. Um. Okay, Xavier Cooper, what number you on? Xavier Cooper, what number you on? Xavier Cooper, what number you on? There's Xavier Cooper. Alexander Pindo, Pintar, do you understand what you're doing? Yes, sir. Is there anyone who's completed? Is there anyone who's completed? I am. Yes, sir. Who's that? I am. Priscilla? Yes, sir. Ernie. Amaya? Ernie? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, that's Crimson. Yes, sir. Samaya, are you done? I'm finishing right now. I'm finished. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and answer these questions. Again, let's go ahead and answer these questions. So for number one, Um, would you all have for number one? Do me a favor, put your answers inside the chat for me, please. Put the answers inside the chat. Would you all have for number one? Would you all have for number one? Good night. Would you all have for number one? I have, um, would you all have for number one? 7x plus 26y. 7x plus 26y. Anyone else? What do you all have for number one? 7x plus 26y. I have 7x plus 8y. I have 7x plus 26y. 7x plus 26y. I have 7x plus 46y. 7x plus 46y. Oh, I typed it out to you. Type in the chat. 7x plus 26y. 7x plus 29y. 7x, 4x plus 34y. Yeah, I have 7x plus 8y. Okay, interesting. Um. Okay, let's answer it together. So we have. Um, we're gonna say. Use a balloon. So we have nine times x, which gives us what? Nine x. Nine x. 
Then we have, where is Evan? Evan, can you hear me? Evan Green? Yeah, it's all. We have nine times X, which is what? Evan Green, what is nine times X? Water. What is nine times X? Let's write it out. Nine times X. It's nine X, right? Mm -hmm. Pardon? Yes, sir. Then we have this one second. And we have a nine times four, which is what? What is nine times four? Nine times four is going to be 36. It's going to be 36. So why? Do you all understand that? Yes, sir. So we have nine times x, which is nine x. Then we have nine times four, which is thirty six y. Um, Evan, you understand that? Where's Evan? Evan Green, can you hear me? Where are you going? Then we have, um, then we have negative two times x, which is what? Negative two x. Right. And we have a negative two times five y, which is gonna be what? Ten y. Ten y. Negative ten y. Negative ten y. Do we understand that? Yeah, sure. Good. And so we have. So we have. It's gonna be equal to. We have the group of the like terms, right? So we have um, 9x and negative 2x. We bring them together. It's going to be what? 9x minus what? Two minus 2x. Good. And then we are going to take this. The 36y. It's going to be 36y, 36, 36, so plus 36y, minus what? 10y. Minus 10y. Minus 10y. And so we have 9x minus 2x is what gives us what? 7x. 7x. And we have, it's going to be plus. What is 36 minus 10? 26. 26. 26. 26. So it's going to be 26 what? 26 y. 26y. 26y. Did anyone get 7x plus 26y? I did. Did, anyone, did, anyone, did anyone I get did. that? I did. I did. Did anyone get that? I did. Good. Um, Ivan Green. Oh, me, me, me. Where's Ivan Green? Hey, Joe. Do you understand how I got 7x plus 26y? Some laid out, but I need one more example. Okay, let's do another one. So, Ivan, what is 7 times x? 7x. Seven 7x, seven x, very good. By the way, the rest of you, put your answer for number 2 in the chat, please. Put your answer for number 2 in the chat. What is 7 times 5? 35. 35, so it's going to be 35, what? 35, y. Y. Good. Then we have, what? Negative 3 times x, which gives us what? Negative 3x, th negative 3x. Negative 3x, very good. Then we have a negative 3 times 2y. What is a negative 3 times 2y? That's going to give us what? Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. Negative... Negative three times two is what? Um, negative, negative six. Negative six y. That makes sense? As all. Good. So we have seven times x, which is seven x. Seven times five, which is 35. Negative three times x, which is negative three x. And negative three times two y is negative what? Six, six y. y. It's gonna be equal to, we group the, we group the like terms, right? So it's going to be 7x and negative 
3x, we group these together. It's going to be 7x minus what? 3 Negative 3x. Yeah. And then we have what? 35y. Plus of 35y minus negative 6y. Negative 6y. We group them together. So we have positive 35 y minus what? Negative six y. Minus six y, very good. All right? And so what we have now is gonna be what? It's gonna be equal to what is seven x minus three x? Seven x minus three x. Uh four x. Four x. Four x. Right? Plus what is 35y minus 6y? 29y. 35y minus... 6y, 29y, right? 35y minus 6y. 29y. 29y, very good. 29y. Is it a... I didn't say you were wrong. Oh. I didn't say you were wrong. So 4x plus 29y, you understand this now? Yes, sir. Good. All right, do we understand that? Did we get this? 4x plus 29y? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got a little yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, not, I'm not very confident about number three. Um, Did you all get number one and two right, though? Did you all get number yes, one sir. and two? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you, got it, if you got it right, please put a tick. If you got it right, please put a tick. Um, now, let's do number... Anyone want to help me with number three? Any brave soul want to help me with number three? No. I got you. I got you. Go ahead, Caleb. Okay, I think you multiply 10 by 2. 2, 8, that gives us what? Um, 20, 28. 28, very good. 28. Okay, good. Else, what else we have? Then you think of 10 plus B. 10 times B, which is what? 10B. 10B, very good. And B. Uh, what else? Then you put the negative, negative 2A, negative 2A, mm -hmm. plus 3B. It's going to be negative 2 times A, which is negative 2A. What else? Negative 2 times 3 is what? 6, 6B. Negative 6B. Very good. Negative 6B. All right. Does that make sense to you? So what are we going to do at this point? Put all the letters together. Put all the letters together. So it's going to be... You miss it, Go ahead. Excuse me, Lars. I understand what nothing you just said. You understand that? Hmm? Did you get the first two right? Yeah, so. Okay. I two. think I get the third one right. <laughs> so, Paris, 10 times 2A oh. is what? 20A. 20A. 10 times B is? 10 times B is 10B. Good. Negative 2 times A is what? Um, 20A. I mean, oh. 2A. Sorry. Negative 2A, yes. And then negative 2 times 3B is going to be what? 6B. And I guess 6B. You understand that so far? Yes, yeah, so. sir. Good. Now let's group them. Let's group them. So we have, it's going to be 20A and negative 2A. It's going to be that. It's going to be equal to, we have 20A. So 20A. Minus what? Minus 2a. And what else we have? We have 10b. 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 And what? 6b, right? We bring them together. So it's going to be plus what? Plus 
10 B plus 10 B very good minus what minus 6 B minus 6 B and so it is going to be equal to what 20 A 18 minus A 2 A is going to be what 18 A 18 A yeah. very good 18 A plus plus 10 B minus 6 B is what 10B minus 6B is what? 4B. 4B. So it's going to be 18A plus 4B. Anyone got this right? Anyone got I this right? Did. Anyone got this right? I, I did. did. I guess so. Good. I good. did. Anyone else got this just, right? I got um, it half right. Can I come back? Yes, we can. Um, anyone got one wrong? Anyone got, got I one got wrong? everything right. Mr. Petit, I, I added did. 20 to the technically I got one number. I got all right. Technically, I didn't get one wrong. I get all right because I knew the last one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I added the 20 A with the 2 A. You added it. Oh, wow. All right. Put I inside the chat if you understand. Put I inside if you understand. Put an I in the chat if you understand how to do it. Put an I inside the chat if you understand how to do it. Put an N if you do not understand. Put an I if you understand. Put an N if you do not understand. Um, Give me one second. One second. I'm going to mute my mic. Give me one second, please. I'm coming right back. Give me one second. All right, what I need you to do is take a picture of this and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, if you've already done that, then we can move forward. Um, Akira, where's Akira? Akira? Where's Akira? Um, which part don't you understand? Did you get any right? Akira, where's Akira? Which part don't you understand? Um, Akira, what part don't you understand? Let me know, please. Well, let me know if you understand it. I can't understand. I just need a couple more examples. Okay, I understand. Okay, no problem. All right, so. Good, perfect. Okay, let's move on from this. Um. Let me clear my, let me clear our drawings. Okay, so okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Um so this is just distribution. When we do something like that, this is just distributing the uh to get in. All right. Um one second, let's move on to the other examples. So let's say so I know some people say they need more examples. So let's do another one. If you already know how to do it, if you think you already know how to do it, then what I need you to do is I need you to um I need you to go ahead and actually write the answer in the, in the chat. Still do it in your book, but actually write the answer inside the chat. So this is more examples here. So let's continue. So again, our goal is to simplify, simplify. 
simplify. All right. Are we ready? Let's, let's do this. All right. Um, Condoleezza, you say you understand now? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, long. Let's move on. To... I understand it a little bit, though. Well, let's, let's do these examples then. Um, I'm going to call this, this what, the third example? Let's call this number three. Um, this one is going to be, I, th I think easier, I think easier. So let's say we have 2A um, plus B, All right? 2A plus B um, minus 3A. So 2A plus B minus 3A plus 4A plus 4A. plus b. So we have 2a plus b minus 3a plus 4a plus b. That's what we have for this one. And then number four, uh, let's say we have um, 3x 3x plus y, 3x plus y minus 4x minus 4x, by the way, that is an x. That is an x minus 4x plus 5y, plus 5x, sorry, plus y. So we have 3x plus y minus 4x plus 5x plus y, okay? Um, if you understand, if you know what to do and you Already understand what to do, put your answers out of the chat for me, please. If you understand what to do, put your answers out of the chat. Um, Devin Barr, are you writing this down? Devin Barr, are you writing this down? Where's Devin Barr? Devin Barr, are you writing this down? I can't hear from Devin. Devin Barr, are you there? Um, Keon Parker, where's Keon? Keon Parker. Keon Parker, can you hear me? Or Keon Parker? Yes, sir. Um, you understand what to do? Yes, sir. Okay, let's do number three together. What's the first thing we're going to do for number three? We're going to group the what? Group the numbers. Okay, so what do you have here? It's going to be what? K on, what's going to be? Hello, K on, can you hear me? It's going to be what? Hello, K on, can you hear me? K on, Parker? I wonder if you could hear me. Um, I can't hear from him. I don't know where you went. Kayon, can you hear me? Oh, I think he got thing cut, cut off. Marqueo, Marqueo, are you there? Marqueo, can you hear me? Where's Marqueo? Um, Jeremiah Rule, are you there? Where's Jeremiah Rule? Jeremiah Rule, are you there? Jeremiah Rule, are you there? Yes, sir. My mic wasn't doing. Okay, so Jeremiah, 
What's the first thing that we do? Um, we take away two times eight. So we group the like terms together, right? Good night, good night, good night. Yes, sir. Okay. So we group the like terms together. Yes, sir. One second. So we so we group the two A and the three A, right? Yes, right? sir. Then what else are we gonna do at this point? And then you uh, take away um four. So we have to deal with the Bs now, right? Yes, sir. So it's gonna be what? It's gonna be what? B plus um, what? Plus four. B plus what? Plus three, four. B. Oh, you know we forgot? Plus three. Plus One three. second. You know we forgot, class? Mr. Bitty, what happened to the four the four A? Yeah, four A. A. Yeah, the four A. <laughs> we forget all about the four A. One I'm making talk to myself. <laughs> um, but the four A. Jeremiah, we can't forget the four A. All right, so we have to bring that down the four A. Yes, All right, so it's gonna be what plus what? Four four A. Four A. All right, good. Next, what do we have? It's gonna be B. All right, B. Plus B. Plus B. All right, plus what? Plus B. All right. Next, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We have. Then you want put you want put put two again. So what is two a and negative three a? Two a and negative three a. That's gonna yes, be so. negative one. Negative one a. Negative one a. Plus what? Plus what? You bring down the four a four a four a. And then we do. I multiplied. No, you don't want to multiply. Then we do B plus B. What is B plus B? That's what? Plus 2B, right? Yeah, 2B. B plus B is 2B. 2B. Now, some people may be wondering how we got negative 4, how we got negative 1A. Do you all know how we got negative 1A? Because the 3 is bigger than the 2. Mm -hmm. The 3 is bigger than the 2. So we take the sign of the bigger number. Where is um Jeremiah? Yes, sir. You understand? Not, Jer not Jeremiah rule. Yes, sir. You understand how we got negative 1A? Yes, sir. I get it now. So we say 2A minus 3A. That gives us what? Negative 1A. 1A. Right? And it's hard to be negative a. because we take the sign of the bigger number. All right? Next. Yes, sir. We say negative 1A plus 4A. And that gives us what? Positive. Positive <laughs> five a. Three a. Positive three a. Positive what? Three a. Positive three a. It's gonna be positive three a. I wanna encourage you to look for someone. But like I said, plan to keep her close to keep studying without after because it helps. So it's gonna be. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. May yes. I be excused, please? Yes, you can. So we have 3a plus what? 2b. 3a <laughs> plus, plus what? 2b. Plus 2b. Plus 2b. Y'all understand how, how I got negative 1a plus 4a is 3b, 3a? Y'all know that? Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Um, the reason is, all you, did, all you could do is, um, you could do a draw circles. So you could say, okay. How did I get it? Well, we have 4A, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4A, right? And that's positive. 4A, and that's positive. Then we have 1A, but 1A is what? 1A is what? Negative, right? So then positive and the negative cancels out. So we just left with 
positive 3a. Do y'all understand that? Let me know if y'all understand that, please. Yes, sir. Y'all get it? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So we have yes, sir. Um, 3a plus 2b. I don't understand. Daniel, you don't understand? Which, which part do you, don't you understand? Johnson and Bart with positive plus negative. Okay. Okay, so um, you have negative 1, right? Negative 1a. And you have 4a, right? So negative 1a and you have 4a. So the 4a is positive. So that means that you're looking at positive 4. So since we have positive 4, what, I, what did I do? Well, since we have positive 4, what I did was I put 4 plus signs. Does that make sense? So, good. And then I have negative 1a. So since I have a negative 1a, I put one negative sign. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then so the positive and the negative going to cancel each other. So it's leaving me with three a's or three positives. So it's going to be 3a. Does that make sense now? Or no? Good. Okay, and then we have 3a plus 2b, and that's our final answer, all right? Well, it would be negative a 3a, though, because as the 1 is in the front of the 4. No, you take the sign of the bigger number. In this case, the bigger number is 4. Can I try the next one? Yes, sir. You understand that? Okay. By the way, does do we understand how we got number 3? Let me know if you all understand that, please. Let me know if y'all understand how we got number three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyone who do not understand how we got number three, do not. If you do not understand how we got number three, please let me know. If you do not understand, please let me know. Um. Okay. Go ahead, uh, um, Sashanik. Help me with number two. I mean, number four. So we are going to bring down all the X's. So okay. we're going to say 3X. One second. So let's do that. There's going to be... One second, one second. So it's going to be what? 3x uh -huh. minus 4x Good. plus plus five. 5 plus 5x. Good. So we have 3x going to be equal to 3x. Mm -hmm. What else? Minus 4x. Minus 4x. Plus, plus five. Plus five, that's good. Then we're going to do the same for the y's because, okay, y plus y. So we group together the y, so it's going to be? Y plus y. Y plus y, so it's going to be plus y. And this is going to be what? Y plus Y. <laughs> okay, so now we have that. What are we going to do now at this point? We have to subtract the X. The, we have to add the X. So mm -hmm. um, 3X mm -hmm. minus 4X equals to negative 1X because we take, the, we take the sign from the bigger number. Very good. So that's 1x. So 3x so minus 4x is 1x. Yes, Because sir. we take the sign of the bigger number. Yes, sir. Good. And then what do you do at this point? Plus 5x. Plus 5x. Plus 2y because y plus y equals 2y. Very good. y plus y is 2y. So this is going to be y plus y, which just gives us y. 
Two Y. Then and so we have what? We have continue. Continue, yeah. Okay, so negative one x plus five x equals four x. Yes. Four x plus two y. Plus two y, very good. Thank you. <laughs> Anyone got 4x plus 2y? Let me know if y'all got that, please. 4x yes, plus 2y. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me know if you got that, please. 4x plus yes, 2y. Yes, I got that. Um, okay. Um, please put an i inside the chat if you understand how to do this. Put an n if you still don't understand how to do this. Put an n if you still don't understand how to do it. Please do not lie on my live stream. If you do not understand, let me know if you don't understand. If you understand, please put a I. Easy, light work, reaction. I, if you understand, and N, if you do not understand what to do. Um, I don't understand what to do. This is Can I? Me, Shanil, and Ernie have to go. Okay, no problem. I don't know who's. Um. Crimson, you don't understand? Um, half and half. Half and half. Which part don't you understand? Like, I still don't get the positive and the negatives. I understand how we get the negative one, but like, I don't understand how we get like the alpha and stuff. Okay, no problem. Tyreek, do you understand? Tyreek, do you understand? Where's Tyreek? I'm sorry, my laptop was shrinking. Yeah. Tyreek, do you understand? Yes, sir. Did you take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp? I was completing the last one and I sent it now. Um, please take a picture of this and send it to me via WhatsApp again. Take a picture of this and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, some people still do not understand, so we're gonna do another one. The reason why I think a lot of you are not understanding it is because you don't understand how to subtract negative numbers. That's the problem. So you need to go on YouTube and go on um, and go on how to subtract negative numbers, all right? Because that's the problem right there. Some of you still don't understand how to subtract negative numbers. Once you know how to subtract negative numbers, then you could be able to um, answer this, these questions easily. All right, let's do two more examples. Again, for these ones, if you understand how to do it, you can go right ahead and put your answers inside the chat for these ones if you already know how to do it. We have to write it down if we already understand. Yes, write it down for me, please. Okay, so let's go ahead and answer these questions for me. Like I said, the biggest the, the biggest problem is you need to know how to divide. Um, sorry, subtract negative numbers. So let me um clear all drawings. For this. Okay. Take a picture of this and send it to me via WhatsApp, please. Take a picture of this and send it to me via WhatsApp. Okay, let's do two more. Two more. So more examples. And if you do not understand, please let me know. Do not have me doing the examples and you still don't understand. If you do not understand, please let me know. More examples, simplify.
Okay, so we have You all have this one now, right? You all have this one? Yes, no. Okay. So let's say we have this number five. Let's say we have um, two. P plus three Z minus three P plus eight P. plus Z, that's number five. Number six, let's try out number six. If you know that, if you know that, if you know that the answer is, then you can automatically do it. If you don't, we can do it together. Number six, let's say we have seven H plus or M minus eight H plus two H plus Three M. Again, if you already know how to do this, you can go ahead and do it. If you do not, then I need you to um, um I need you to follow along with me. Um Daxia Smith, where's Daxia Smith? Do you understand what to do? Daxia Smith, do you understand what to do? Where's um Jeremiah Thurston? You understand what to do? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Kaden Dean, you understand what to do? Kaden Dean. Yes, sir. You understand what to do? Yes, sir. Um, uh, Nateo Green, do you understand what to do? Nateo? Yes, sir. Do you understand what to do, Nateo? Yes, sir. Um, who is J Boss? J Boss, who's that? What's your name, J Boss? I don't know your name. I don't know why you would put that. I don't, I don't, I don't know why you would put. Why in the world would you put your name as J Boss? I think that I'm going to allow you to, to speak. I don't understand that. Who is that? Who is J-Boss? I don't know who that is. If you come with weird names, there's no way I can allow you to speak. That doesn't even make no sense to me. Um, Jeremiah Rule, did you send in your work? Yes, sir. Um, what you got? Do you understand what to do, Jeremiah? Yes, sir. I, I get it. I get it. You getting it? Do you understand how, how to do it? That's my question. Yes, yes, sir. You only sound certain. Let's go ahead and answer. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Can you help me with question five, please? Uh, I want Jeremiah to help me with that. Okay. I don't think he get it. Um, what y'all got for number five anyway? 
I got I got seven P plus four Z. Say it again. Seven P plus four Z. Seven P plus four I got Z. the same thing. Anyone else? Same. I got, got the same thing. thing. I did. Okay. I got same the same. Thing. Same thing. Okay. Um. So let's go ahead and answer this. Where's Jeremiah Rule? Are you there? Yes, sir. So let's group the like terms. We have what? 2P. 2P. Negative 3P, right? Plus what else? Yes, sir. 8P, right? Plus 8P. We bring them down. So we have 2P, right? What else? Negative three P. Negative three P. Plus eight P. Plus what? Eight P. Plus eight P. Good. So we have to group the P's together and then after that after we already group the P's together, we have to group the um Z's together. So let's go ahead and group the Z's together. So it's gonna be what? What plus what? 3z plus, 3Z. plus what? Plus Z. Z. So we bring them together. So it's going to be plus 2z. 3z. Right? 3z. Plus what? Plus z, right? Z. That make sense? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Good. Next. What we're going to do, we're going to do what? What is 2P minus 3P? 1, 1P. P. Not 1P, not 1P. P, P. Negative. Negative 1P. Oh. Negative 1P. Oh, oh, I didn't see that negative. Um, Jeremiah, you understand that? Yes, sir. Negative 1P. Um, you bring down the what? We're going down the 8P, right? And then we have to do 3Z plus Z. What is 3Z plus Z? That's going to give us what? 4Z. 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 So we have 3Z plus Z is 4Z. So we have negative 1P plus 8P plus 4Z. Next, what are we going to do? Next, what are we going to do? We're going to add the 1P and the 8P. Very good. We're going to add the negative 1P and the 8P. So let's add these two. Negative 1P and 8P is going to be what? 7P, right? That's going to be what? 7P. 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 It's going to be 7P. It's going to be equal to 7P. And then we have to add what? 7P plus what? 4Z. Plus 4Z. Four four plus 4Z. 7P plus 4Z. Good. Does that make sense? Did anyone get this right? Let me know if y'all got this right. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Correct. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Go ahead, Zion. Go ahead, Zion. Um, my iPod tone died, so can you send me the notes, please? Um, what happened? You can't charge it? No, sir. Why? Because my charge is in there right, right now. Okay, I can. Okay, um, thank you. Uh, okay, so let's move on to the next one. What do I got for number six? I got 1H plus 7M. What it is? One H plus seven. One H plus seven. I see if that's correct. So the first thing we're gonna do, where's Natayo? Where's Natayo? Natayo, can you hear me? Where's Natayo? Are you there, Natayo? Some reason I can't hear from the tail. Um, Ivory, where's Ivory McKenzie? 
Yeah, so. What's the first thing we're going to do? Uh, we got to group all the H's. So we have 7H. Right? Yes, so. Then we have what? 8H. Negative 8H. What else? Uh, plus 2H. Plus 2H. Good. And then we got to put all the M's together. And we got to put all of the M's together. It's going yes, to be 4M. Uh, and what? Uh, plus 4M. Yeah, those two. So 4M and 3M. It'll be plus 4M. Oh, these too big too. Oh my goodness. So it's going to be. Mr. Petit, I'm so sorry. May I be excused for one second, please? Yes, you can. So it's going to be 4M four, four plus what? 3M. Plus 3M. And what do we have after that? It's going to be what? Oh. You got to subtract 7H from. So negative well, 7H. Subtract 8H. From 7H, and then we give you negative 1. Very good. So 7H minus 8H is going to be what? Negative, negative 1H. Negative 1, what? H. 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 Plus, because we subtract, let me take the sign of the bigger number. Plus what? 2H. 2H. 2H, very good. Plus 7M. Plus 7M. We add these two. It's going to be what? We add these two and it's going to be what? 7M. 7M, good. Um, Trinity Cash, where's Trinity Cash? Do you understand this? Yes, I understand it. Okay. Go ahead, finish Ivory. Oh, and then negative 1H plus 2H is positive 1H. It's going to be equal to negative 1H plus 2H is going to be equal to positive 1H. 1H. Very good. Plus what? 7M. 7M. Indeed, we know that 1H is the same thing as what? H. So it's H plus 7M. All right, do we understand this? Let me know if you understand this, please. Yes, sir. Are you sure you all understand this? Let me know, please. Yes, sir. Um, Laura Green, do you understand this? Um, no, sir. Laura, you don't understand this? No, sir. So why you did not ask the question earlier, Laura? What happened? Oh, my mic wasn't working. Chanel Mitchell, do you understand this? Yes, sir. Okay, and Brianna Moss, do you understand this? Brianna Moss, do you understand this? Yes, sir. Dior, do you understand this? Yes, sir, I understand. Good. Dior, where's Dior? Dior, do you understand this? Can I from Dior? Um, Freddie, do you understand this? Freddie, where's Freddie? Freddie, can you hear me? And Isaiah Brown, do you understand this, Isaiah? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, we're good. Put an I inside the chat if you understand this. Put an I inside the chat if you understand this. Put an N if you do not. Put an N if you do not. Put an I if you understand. But an N if you do not, so we could know. Good night, Mr. Petit. Good night. Hold up. Mr. Petit, you... excuse me. Mm -hmm. My answer is still right. I have 1H plus 7M. 1H plus 7M is the same thing. Okay, thank you. Uh, you, can send me... you can send me the notes from earlier, please. I just got back. Who's this speaking? 
Jaden Brown should all. Jaden Brown should all. Okay, no problem, I can. Me too, but at the end of class, I have to take a screenshot because my mom is in here now. Okay, no problem. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this up. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. So we have... Remove this. It's going to be moved. There are drawings. Okay, good, perfect. So let's go ahead and do a great exercise on this. Great exercise. Number one. Oh, that's number two, right? Yes, sir. Okay. The instructions are simply to simplify. So you want to simplify, simplify the following algebraic expressions. This is going to be six y minus four x plus see. no. 6, 6y plus 4x minus 7y plus 9y plus Say it again. Okay, no problem. Okay, next we have um we have two D. Sorry. Let me put this in. Let me insert this. Next is gonna be two D plus three E minus three D plus Six D plus E. Number three, we have again six F plus eight G minus. Seven F plus three F plus yes, but did you go back to the last last left to drag into this? Yes, I can. So it's gonna be seven. Let me change this one to be inserted. Eight K plus four S minus nine K plus. 2k plus 3s. And finally, number five, we have 10k 
plus 3 w minus 3q of 4q 5q plus 8q plus 4w. All right, just those five that I want us to do. Um, I want you to actually do this one in your book. So you want to do this in your book. Um, again, I want you to do this in your book for me. Can you go back to that please? Oh, yes. This is the previous one. Quickly take a picture of that for those of you who don't know how to do the other one. All right. You got All it? Right. Um, Trinity Cash with number one. Trinity Cash with number one. Trinity Cash. Number four. Wyatt, what number you on? Wyatt, what number you on? Two. Two. Good day. Um, Tiffany Morris, where's Tiffany? What number yeah. you on? What number you on? Wyatt, number two. Xavier Miller, what number you on? Uh, number four. You understand what you're doing? Yes, sir. Um, Chanel, Chanel Penn, what number you on? Number two. You understand what you're doing? Yes, sir. Good. Um, Chavette Harris, what number you on? Number three. Good. Um, Cherie Skater, where's Cherie Skater? What number you on? Cherie Skater, what number you on? Number two. Do you understand what you're doing? Yes, sir. Okay, and Sharon, Gator, what number you on? Number two. Number two, okay. Um, Samaya, with an I. Y-A-H. I'm number four. Okay, Rodrigo Roll, what number you on? Number four. Ron, 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 Ronaldo King, you understand what to do? Ronaldo? Ronaldo King. Can you can I, where's Ronaldo King? Ronaldo King, you understand what to do? Yes, sir. Sorry. Okay. Um, Tori, where's Tori? Tori Miller, are you there? Tori Miller, are you there? Tori Miller. Tori Miller, are you there? Where's Tori Miller? Kind of from Tori. Tori Miller, are you there? Um... Ronaldo King, good number you on Ronaldo. And Ron. Number three. Number three, you understand what to do? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, Tori Miller, where's Tori Miller? What number you want, Tori? Um, Mateo Green, what number you want, Mateo? Number three. You understand what to do? That's yes, sir. You didn't send me any notes. I go send them. When you're gonna send them? When I finish this. Okay. And Marqueo, Marqueo, what number you on? Marqueo, where's Marqueo? Marqueo, can you hear me? Go ahead. I was supposed to tell you, I know 
trying to do the work, but I just don't know how to do the work in. I just get the work right, but I don't know how to work in. Well, you have the show working. We're gonna we're gonna do it over, and I need you to pay attention. All right, so you can show the work in. You have to be paying attention, Laura. Otherwise, you won't get it. All right. I need to pay attention. That's how I always get the answer. Excuse me, Mr. But you have to show the work in. You have to show the work in. That's a part of it. Okay. Go ahead, um, Jeremiah. I mean, Shemo Hamilton. I just reach, and I don't know what we're doing, but I can catch on to it though. Okay. Um, we are answering these questions. Is there anyone who's finished with the with this? Is anyone who's finished? Yes, I'm sir. finished. Okay. Yes, you, sir. You, you I ready, am. If you're ready, finish, and you ready, send me the work. Y'all finished, and y'all send the work yet? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Put your answers in the chat for me, please. Put your answers in the chat for those who are finished and sent the work in already. Alexia Brown. Where's Alexia Brown? What number you on, Alexia Brown? Um, and Alicia, 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 Alicia Smith. Um, put your answers inside the chat for me, please. Alicia Smith. Um, can't hear from you. Um, Crispin Rogers. What number you on, Crispin? Number three. You understand what to do? So. Okay, and Alandra Parker, what number you on? Number five. Number five. Destin Johnson, what number? You? Destiny Johnson, what number you on? I'm on number four. Number four, that's good. Um, Ivan, Ivan Green, what number you on? Ivan Green, what number are you on, Ivan? Where's Ivan Green? Ivan Green, can you hear me? Um, by Ivan Green. Um, Genesis, what number you on? May I use the restroom, Mr. Petit? Yes, we can. Kanan, where's Kanan? Kanan, what number you on? Number five. Um, you understand what to do? Yeah, sir. Okay. And Cavani Seymour, what number you on? Number four. Number four. Jeremiah Rule, are you finished? Mr. Bati. Yes. I'm number three. Number three, okay. Malicio Dorset, where's Malicio? Are you there, Malicio? Uh, yes, sir. What number are you on? Uh, I'm number four. Go on number five. Okay, where's Vincent? Vincent, can you hear me? Yes, sir. What number you on? I finish. Do you understand what to do? Yes, sir. Okay, let's I'm go ahead. Finish. Do you need me to send? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Take mm -hmm. a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's go ahead and answer the questions. Would you all have for number one? Let me know if you all have for number one. plus 14G. Say it again. you all have for number one. 8y plus 6x. Number 1. 8y plus 6x. Okay, so let's do number 1. So number 1, this will be it. This will be done. So number 1, we have... Oh, yeah, it's 8. So number 1, we have... Please, Alora, look at the working. as Alora. So we have 6y plus 4x. All right. Minus 7y plus what? Plus 4, sorry, plus 9y plus what? 2x. Plus 2x, good. And this is going to be equal to, it's going to be equal to 
um, we have to group all the, the like terms. So it's going to be 6y. So 6y minus what? Minus 7y. 7y. Plus 9y. Plus 9y. Plus 4x. Plus 9y. Plus what? 4x. Plus 4x. Good. Plus what? Plus 2x. 2x. Plus 2x. Good. Now we have all of the y's together and all of the x's together. What is um, 6y minus 7y is going to be what? That would be 1y. Negative 1y. Plus what? Plus 9y. Plus 9y. Plus what? Plus 6x. Plus 2x, 4x plus 2x is what? 6x. And we have negative 1y plus 9y is going to be what? 8y. 8y. 8y plus what? Plus 6x. Six 6x. Six did anyone else get that? 8y plus 6x. Let me I know, did. please. 8y oh, plus 6x. I did. It's going to be 8y. I got that. Eight. Oh, I got that. I got that. I got that. Y plus I got that. Six X. Number two. Which all of a number two? Five D plus four E. Five D plus four E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, yeah. Five D plus four E. I got seven D. Five D plus four E. All right, let's look at the D's. We have two D. We have three D. Negative three D. We have six D. So if we do them together, that's going to be um, 2 plus negative 2, negative 3, and 6. That's going to be 5, 5D, plus, uh, plus 4E. Did anyone get that? Did I anyone did. get that? Did anyone yes, get that? Yes, I got that. Yes, yes, okay, good. I did. Good. Um, next, we have number three. What do you have for number three? Um, 2F, 2F plus 14G. 14 plus 14G. Is it again? 2F, 2F plus 14G. Plus 14 14 yeah, so, sure. so we have, so let's do the Fs. We have 6 minus 7. Plus three, which gives us what? Four. Two. No, two F. Okay, give us two F. Mm -hmm. Plus fourteen G. Plus um eight plus six is what? Fourteen. Eight plus six is fourteen. So it's gonna be fourteen G. Did we get that? Yes, sir. Good. I didn't know the answer for that one. Okay, let's do number four. Pardon me, Mr. Petit. K plus seven. Number four. What you all got for number four? K plus seven X. Plus seven X. Say it again. K plus seven X. K plus seven X. Yeah, K K K plus seven S. Six K or just K? Just K. Just K. Just K. Just K. Negative one k plus two k is three. Oh, yeah. You take the sign of the bigger number, Mister Petty. We gonna do it right now. Eight at eight k plus four plus four s minus nine k plus two k plus three s. Plus three S. So what are you gonna do? We're going to do the case. So it's gonna be eight K and negative nine K. So it's gonna be eight K, right? Minus what? Nine K. Minus nine K. Bring down this two K, right? Plus yes. what? Negative one K. Plus two K. And we have the 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 s's, so it's gonna be four s plus four three. s plus what 
Three S. Three S. And so we are. We have eight K minus nine K, which gives us what? One K. Negative one K. K. Plus two K. Plus um two K, two K, two K. That's going to be plus two K. Plus seven S. What do we have with four S plus four S plus three S? That's gonna be what? Seven S. Plus what? Seven what? S. S. It's gonna be equal to. It's gonna be equal to. It's gonna be equal to. Um, negative one plus two is what? It's gonna be what? One K. One K. One. One K. One K plus what? Seven S. Seven S. Did anyone get that? One K plus no, seven S. I did. I did. I did. Um, I have to step out. Uh, something unexpected happened. Oh, wow. Um, so can you please send me the um? I will. The link for the video for I tomorrow, will. please. I will. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. So we have K plus seven S. Mister Petit, you could help me to remember what the rule is for the one, two, three, the third part. 1k negative 1k plus 2k please what you, what, what you got what you put mr petit i use the sign of the bigger number and put three no when i say use the sign of the bigger number no i mean you you could subtract and use the sign of the bigger number oh for your answer so the answer is positive mm -hmm. but okay still subtract mm -hmm. because you have this big old negative in there yes sir um or, you. or you could do the like i do with the the circles with the positive and negatives. You have two positives, one negative. The positive and negative are gonna cancel, leave you with just one more neg one more positive. Thank you. Good. Did we get K plus um seven S? Did we get that? K plus seven S. I did. Yes, sir. I yes, sir. Did. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, where is um Shanair Mitchell? Shanair Mitchell, are you there? Oh. What you got for number five? Number five? Uh-huh. 13Q plus seven. Say it again. 13Q plus seven W. 13Q plus what? Seven W. Um, mm -hmm. She said she got 13Q plus seven W. Anyone else got that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. 13Q plus seven W. Yes, sir. OK. Um, Does it still count if I have one K? Yeah, one K is fine. Yeah, one K is fine. Um, what class? What y'all got for number five? Let me know what y'all got for number five. Um, thirteen Q plus seven. Okay, let's do it. So we have um ten Q, right? Five negative five Q, and what? Eight Q, right? Um, we bring them together, all of them together. That gives us what? 10Q. 10Q minus what? 5Q plus what? 8Q. Right? And we have what? Then we have three W and what? Four W. So we bring this together. So we have plus three W. Plus what? Plus four W. And that leaves us with what is 3W plus 4W? That's going to be what? 7W, right? 7W. Good, good, good. And then we have what? Um, 10Q minus 5Q is what? 5Q. 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 Very good. 5Q. 
5 q um, plus what? 8 q. Eight q. Plus 8 q. And this is part plus 7 w. And what is 5 q plus 8 q? It's going to be 13 q. It's going to be what? 13 q. 13 q. 13 q plus what? 7 w. Plus 7 w. Class, do we understand this? Let me know, please, if y'all understand this. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, anyone got all five right? Anyone got all five right? I did. Yes, I anyone did. Got all five right. Anyone got all five right? I got all five right. I got all five right. I got all these. Mm -hmm. I did. Dead. Anyone else got all five right? All five right. Let me. I did. Me. I did. Me. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna send it to you real quick. Anyone got one wrong? One wrong? One wrong? One wrong? Anyone? I did. Aikisha, anyone got one wrong? Anyone else got one wrong? Um, anyone got? I, I don't get things on this. Yeah, you right. Know, you know that. Yeah, right. Um, anyone got? Um, anyone got two wrong? One got two wrong. Okay. Um, what I need you all to do is take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Uh, Laura, you understand how we got this? No, sir. What do you mean you don't understand? Uh, how, when you finish with the um, first part, I don't understand nothing else after that. Which one? What you mean? Which part? Like, after, like, how you get the one case and stuff like that. I don't where, understand that. Well, well, well. For number uh four. Okay. What else? What what, what are you talking about? I basically don't understand nothing. So you say when we have eight K and nine K, we bring okay. them together and then we have the two K, right? Mm -hmm. And then we do eight K minus nine K. What is eight minus nine? One. One, negative but it's one. negative one, right? What is four uh -huh. S plus two S? What is four S plus three S? Seven. Seven S, Seven. good. Good, and then what is negative one K plus two K? Three. No, negative one, negative one plus two K. Negative 1k plus 2k is what? Oh, positive 1. Positive 1k. Positive. Plus 1. Plus 7s. Plus 7s. And that's how we get. Now, it's just 1k, so we just put k. So it's k plus 7s. Okay. All right? Okay. And it's not okay, Alora. You know better than that. It's either yes or no, so. So, Alora, what you have to do is you have to practice this on your own because we did a lot of examples. So, you have to practice this on your own and get some get a hang of it. Put an I inside the chat, people, if you understand. Put an N if you still don't understand. Uh, again, put an I inside the chat if you understand. Put an N if you still don't understand. This requires a lot of practice, a lot of practice. And so, you may not get it on the first try, but as you continue to practice, you'll be able to get it. All right? But you have to practice. I did it in some school, but I can't remember what I did. Okay. And I got 100. So. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Um. Okay, we're going to move on to health science and general science. If you're not doing health science or general science, you can leave. But those of us who are doing health science and general science, we must stay back. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Health, Good night. health science and general science, please stay back. Again, health science and general science, please stay back. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, those of us who are doing health science and general science, let's stay back. Okay, so the last thing we are doing, health science, we're talking about. We were talking about the systems, all right? So, uh, right. that was 
drawings. Switch your colors and switch them. Okay, let's go ahead and answer this. Okay, good. So this is Um, my name is Mr. Petit. Today is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, right? No, Tuesday. Tuesday, the what? 19th of September, of November, 2024. The subject is, of course, health science. The last time we were here, we were looking at um, different, all of the systems of the human body. We talk about, I think we talked about all, I think we covered all 10. Um, all 10 yeah. of the major systems, go ahead. If we ain't doing health science, we could leave. If, what are you doing? English and maths. English and maths, yeah, if you're not doing health science, you could go. Okay, good night. Good night. Um, topic um we're going to be looking at the skeletal oh, no i think we already did the skeletal system um we did the digestive system i remember that and we talked well last at least the last time we were here we just talked at length of you know the different types of the different types of systems that we have in our body um we talked about the. Uh, we talked about the. Uh, digestive system at length. Like we explained that properly. Um, today I want us to talk about in depth now. Um. Really did the skeletal system. Really did the digestive system. So we have to look at the muscular system, and how does that work? And, the different muscle cells and stuff like that. So let's talk about that. So the muscular system. We already said that the muscular system is there to. So if I ask you, what is the purpose of the muscular system? What would you tell me? Like, what is the function of it? What would you tell me? To move the joints mm -hmm. of the body, I think. To help, to help anyone else? What is the function of the muscular system? To help cushion the bones. To help cushion the bones. The bones need cushion. To give the body skin. To give the body skin. Um, to avoid the bones from rubbing together. To avoid the bone the bones from rubbing together. How many muscles do you think inside a human body? How many muscles do you think? At least. 128. We know how many bones. 306. 306. No. We know how many bones in a body. How many bones in a in adult um in adult a human body? How many bones? Is it, it's over 600 muscles, right? How many bones? The human bones is 206 and 800 muscles. 200 bones, right? And 206 bones. That's in an adult. In a in a baby, how many bones we have for a baby? Three hundred. Three hundred, right? So a three hundred. Uh, so for the skeletal system, the bones is two hundred six. In a baby, it's three hundred. Why is there more for a baby? Why is there more for? Because as the baby matures, oh, as the baby body body body. yes, as the baby grows, um, it fuses the bones fuse together. But we are talking about the muscles. Someone mentioned it. They told me the number. Um, there are about how many muscles? Six hundred. Um, yeah, about more than six hundred muscles. Over six hundred muscles, right? So the muscular system is there to help our body do what? The muscles in our body. In our body, help us to do what? Move. That's very good. What movement? I was to move from what? From place to place. Yes. Right, so they help with movement. So 
So the muscles in our body help us to move from place to place, as well as as well as move substances through the body. Laura, what is the function of the muscles in our body? What is what what does it help us do? The muscle is our in our body helps to move the place to helps to move from place to place as well as move substance throughout the body. Very good. And Wyatt, what's the function of the muscles in the body? Help us to move place to place as well as move substance throughout the body. Very good. It helps us to move from place to place. It also helps to move substances. Helps to move substances in the body, through the body, I should say. All right. Helps with running, jumping. Yeah, all of that stuff. And standing. Yes. I agree 100%. So we have um, this system. What, what other system does this system work with to perform these, you know, actions? The system works together with what system? The nervous system. Yeah, that's the true, system? but does that... The cardiovascular system. No, we, they're all too deep. What, what system does the muscular system work with? The digestive system. No. The skeletal the system. Nervous system? Thank you. The skeletal system, thank you. The skeletal system. Is... Because, why the skeletal system? Because what is your muscles attached to? Your bones. Your bones, right? So the system works with the skeletal system and nervous system as well, because that what helps it to move. And nervous system to allow, to allow for movement. To allow for movement. Aid in front of you. Where's Aid in front of you? Aid in front of you. Can you hear me? There are. Where's Aid in front of you? Five. Aid in front of you. Can you hear me? There are five main functions um, of this system. There are five main functions of the system. Number one, um, what is that organ in that beats and never stops? The heart. The heart. What the is heart. the heart? What is the heart? The heart is a muscle. Heart is a muscle. So the heart helps. We are not there beat and never it's... stops now because people is dead. Um, you're talking about living organisms. So while they live in, it don't stop. Helps the heart. Helps the heart to beat. Um, what else? If it helping the heart to beat, what what is causing? It helps the blood to move around. Helps the blood. Helps the blood to do what? To is circulate. It, yeah. To slow circulate. to your body. Yeah. To circulate. Um. Then it pushes food because it, it's inside the, the digestive system as well. So it pushes food through the alimentary canal, alimentary canal, and aids in digestion. So you have smooth muscles which um are are in your digestive system. Then. How about in reproduction? It helps what? It helps to push. Reproduce. Helps to push babies. What? Through the birth canal. Without muscles, that's not going to happen. And finally, it helps with breathing. Helps with breathing. Um, Jeremiah Roy, can you give me Two functions. Oh, Mr. Jeremiah, Petty, one is second. the thumb also a muscle? One, one second, Sashnik. Jeremiah rule. Yes, sir. Can you give me two functions of the um 
Can you give me two functions of the um? Can you give me two functions of the health of, of the muscular system? Okay. Um, the muscular system help you like, like be able to like you know I like you like push it with like your muscles and like your um bicep. Read, read the, read the, read the, read the functions. There are five functions of this system. Helps the heart to be, uh -huh. helps the blood to circulate, uh -huh. pushes food through the alimentary, alimentary canal, canal. Eats, eats and digestion. Very good. Helps to push babies through birth canal, helps with breathing. Very good. Megan Penniman, what are the five um, functions of the muscular system? It helps you to push babies through the birth canal and helps with breathing. I ask for five. Pushes food through the alimentary canal and aids in digestion, helps the blood to circulate and helps the heart to beat. Very good. Um, where is um where is um Navea? Navea? Navea, are you there? Navea, are you there? Where's Navea? I'm right here. Um, Navea, why are you not saying in your notes? Um, because I don't have. Are you even writing down the notes? What are you doing? Are you? I got notes. Um, please do not respond with an attitude, please. I ask, let me ask again. What are you doing? Writing down the notes. Okay. Um, but you need to send them to me. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. So when your mommy comes, you have to send it to me. Um, okay. What are the five functions of the muscular system? You mean me? I mean you, yes. Pardon? I mean you, yes. What are the five functions of the, of the muscular system? It helps the heart to be, it helps the blood to circulate. It pushes food through the Alimentary, alimentary canal. Alimentary canal and aids in digestions. It helps to push babies to the birth canal and it helps with breathing. Very good. Okay, so let's talk about the amount of muscles we have. So there are there are more than six hundred muscles in the human body and all these muscles are controlled by what by the nervous system by the nervous system now the nervous system consists of the brain and what else the spinal cord the spinal cord very good um and the nerves and all them stuff so there are two types two types of movement there are two types of movement of muscles do you know the two types in the human body Invo involuntary and voluntary movement very good there are two types of movement the first one is involuntary movement now, what do we mean by involuntary, involuntary movement? Movement you that you can control can't... it. Movement that what? Movements that you can't control. Movement that you cannot control. What do we mean by involuntary? You cannot control it, right? Um, that's what we mean by involuntary movement. Mr. Petit, after system, I see there. Should there are two types. There are. Yes, sir. Thank you. And what you had a question? I didn't get back to your question. I was asking if the lung is also a muscle. The lung. Because you, I see where it says that helps with the beating of the heart, and then you said the heart is also a muscle. So I was wondering when it says help with breathing, if that was. No, 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 no. With the with the diaphragm. Okay, thank the you. The diaphragm is is a dome. You know what the diaphragm. You, you know what I mean when I say the diaphragm. 
No, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, let me show you the diaphragm. The diaphragm is um, let me show you all the the diaphragm is the main muscle, um, in the respiratory system. So the, uh, so this is your lungs, right? The diaphragm is um, let me show you if they have a good picture. Okay, there it is. This is the diaphragm. And based on whether you um, breathe in and breathe out, the diaphragm either contracts or relaxes. Okay. Understood. Mm, so that's what I mean. It helps with breathing. Very important. See it again. So see the it. muscle that assists with breathing is the diaphragm. Exactly. Thank you. Got a question, by the way. Um, let's see what else they have to say. Is the lung a muscle? No. What does AI think say? The, the main muscle used for breathing is the dome-shaped muscle that separates the chest and abdominal cavities. When you inhale, the diagram, the diaphragm contracts, means it pulls down, increasing the size of the chest cavity. And when you exhale, it relaxes and does the opposite. All right? Thank you. Um, good. Let's move on to... Um, good. So involuntary movement. Now, involuntary movement is a movement that you have no control over. So those that those movements that we have no conscious control, right? No control over and the body and the body handles how? Automatically, automatically. What are some things that we do not control? It just yeah. happens automatically. Your heart. Yarning. Your heart beating. What else? Yarning. Yawn. <laughs> Yarning. Yeah, that's funny. Um, not really. Um, um, Cleveland, what do you have to say? That's Cleveland. Cleveland, yeah. be careful. Be careful. You hear me? So, we did so. We did swallowing. So automatically, such as what? Heart beating. And what? And what else? And breathing. Okay, heart beating and breathing. We do them automatically. And the muscles. So, for example, your heart. Your heart is an organ, but it has cardiac muscles in it. All right. So let me just be clear about that. And those muscles, those cardiac muscles, they are involuntary muscles. Like they just operate like involuntarily. And it's a good thing that breathing happens involuntarily and heart beating happens involuntarily because otherwise, when you're sleeping, <laughs> it's a good thing. You would die. All right. So Voluntary muscles, what are, I mean movement, sorry. What a voluntary movement, what does that mean? Controllable actions and movements. Very good, Con things that we could control. So those movements, those movements um, that we can control, such as walking, speech um, and exercise and exercise the muscles connected to the skeleton to the skeleton are controlled by voluntary movement so those, like the biceps, the triceps, those things, they are voluntary, right? We can control them, all right? They are controlled by our conscious effort, all right? That's what we mean by voluntary and involuntary. Okay, so class, what are two types of um, movement that we have? Two types of movement that we have. 
involuntary 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 movement and voluntary movement very good involuntary movement and voluntary movement um mild as mild um uh, mild have you sent in the maths notes yet yeah Sit again. Sit again. I think it right down. I haven't finished yet. Okay, you're writing it down now. No, I'm writing the science. Okay. All right. Um. Next, we have. Um. Navea, what are two types of movement that we have? Two types of movement that we have, Navea. Pardon? Two types of movement. Tell me the two types of movement that we have. Hard beating. No, heartbeat. the two types. The two types. There are two types of movements. Invol involuntary movement and voluntary movement. Very good. What's the difference between involuntary and voluntary? Involuntary movement is like what that. When we don't have no control over the body, uh -huh. and voluntary movement is movements that we can't control. Very good. Um, class, give me some examples of involuntary movements. Involuntary movements. Heart beating and breathing. Heart beating and breathing. Give me some examples of voluntary movements. Voluntary movements. Examples would be walking, examples would be walk, walking. What else? Speaking. Oh, we already have it. Walking, speaking. walking, running, speaking or exercising. All right. Um. We already have examples. I'm sorry. We already have examples. We don't need more examples. Walking, speech, exercise. Those are all examples of voluntary movements okay okay let's look at the common muscles of the body so common muscles of the body would be common muscles of the body are we have the biceps and the triceps that's so that's the what the upper arm and then we have the shoulders are called um deltoid deltoid Uh, and the chest are called pectorals. The buttocks are called Gluteus, gluteus maximus, gluteus maximus, and the thighs are called quadriceps for the front, quadriceps. Or the front and armstring, armstring muscles for in for the back, in the back. Okay. So the upper arm muscles, what do we call that? The upper arm muscles. We call that 
Bicep and triceps. Biceps and triceps. The shoulders are called what? Deltoid. 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 Um, deltoid. Deltoid. The chest is called the what? Um, um, called um, pectorals. 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 Um, the buttocks are called what? Maximus. Gluteus. Uh, gluteus maxima. Gluteus, gluteus maximus. maximus. Very good. The thighs are called quadriceps. Quadriceps. Very good. Um, that's for the front and the back is called what? Armstrings. Armstring. Armstring. Very good. Um, do you all have this written down? Let me know if you have this written down. So we can I'm at I'm by I'm at the ties. I'm at the ties. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm at the dies, my dies. Okay, quickly write this down for me, please. Um Antoine. That's Antoine. Yes, sir. Are you finished writing this down? I don't have signs. Oh, you don't have signs, okay. And Isaiah Brown. Isaiah Brown, can you hear me? Good me, Mr. Vati. Yes. Can you send me a picture of this, please? Yes, I can. Okay. Where's, where's Isaiah Brown? Thank you. No problem. Where's Isaiah Brown? Can you hear me, Isaiah? Here's Ricardo. Ricardo, can you hear me? Where's Ricardo? Yes, sir. Um, what are two types of movement for the muscles? Two types Involuntary of movement. Involuntary and voluntary. Very good. Involuntary and voluntary. Um, what's the difference between the two? Uh, involuntary are the movements that we have no control over, and voluntary are the movements we have control over. Very good. So let me ask you a question. Um, Ricardo, do you send me the notes? Uh, I haven't got a chance to yet. Um, you have to send me the notes, you know, Ricardo. Yes, sir. You can't just be here not sending the notes. Are you writing them down? Yes, sir. Would you have to send them, Ricardo? Yes, sir. When are you going to send them? Uh, tonight. Yes, you have to send them. Right? Send the notes. The rest of you, have you all sent in the notes as yet before we move on? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. So, but then again, I lost one right now. I'll finish it. All right. All right, are we done? Let me know if y'all finished, please. I have a screenshot. We done? Yes, sir. I'm done. All right, good. I'm done. All right, good.
All right, I'll be done with this. Let me know, please, before we move yeah, on. Yeah, sure. All yeah, right, sure. I, I need I need y'all to take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. I need y'all to take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. All right, babe. Mr. Petit, most likely tomorrow I'll send you the work because my mommy will be coming in the month to the ten and I'll be sleeping already. All right, let's go on to general science for those of us who are doing general science. Uh, let's move on. Okay, good night then. Good night. Um, you're not doing general science, um, Mastrov? Well, 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 like you see, I am, but like, um, oh, what do you call it again? Um, I do afternoon class for them. No, you have to stay back. Oh, okay then. Oh, okay then. And it's not the video wasn't done yet. Um, well, you're supposed oh, to write oh, faster. Oh, 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 my bad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday the 19th of November. Excuse me, Mr. Petit, I'm not doing general science. Um, for those of you who are doing general science, please stay back. The rest of you is not, who is not doing general science, you can leave. General science people, stay back. All right. Sorry. Physics to stuff. Sit again. Will you do physics? Who's this speaking? Malia Delavo. Sit again. Malia Delavo. No, I know physics. No. All right. So the last thing we did was we were talking about the flower. We were talking about the parts of the flower and their significance. Today we're going to be talking about um, pollination. How does that happen and stuff like that. Pollination. Pollination and fertilization. So we're going to be looking at pollination, pollination, and fertilization. Some people spell it with an S, but some people spell it with with a Z as well. Okay, pollination and fertilization. So um, let's just recap the parts of the flower. I just want to show you all that again. Um, we know we talked about the, the, let me just show you all the picture first. So this is the picture that I gave you all last week. And we're gonna go over it. So we have so this is the part of the flower. So we have the we have the stamen. And what two things are part of the stamen? What two things are part of the stamen? What two structures are part of the stamen? The anther and the filament. The anther and the filament. Very good. The anther and the filament. And then we have the style. I mean, not style. We have the pistol. Um, what three structures are part of the pistol? Stigma, style, ovary. Very good. The stigma, style, and ovary. Which one is the male part? Which one is the female part? The male, the male part is the stamen and the female part is the pistol. Very good. The male part is the stamen and the female part is the pistol. All right. Um, now, pollination is where reproduction begins. And so... Basically, if we look at the stamen, the stamen, this area, um, the anther is where the pollen is going to be. 
And that pollen has to get into the stigma, all right? And that's pollination. So let's talk about it. So pollination, let's talk about pollination. Pollination, by definition. Um, pollination, so. Reproduction, write this down for me, please. Reproduction, reproduction begins with pollination. Reproduction begins with pollination. A flower is pollinated when a pollen grain arrives on the stigma so this is very important to know when pollination happens when is a plant considered to be pollinated so pollination is when that pollen lands on the stigma, right? That's right there. So when we have pollen, when we have pollen here, right there. When we have pollen there, that's what we call pollination, when pollen arrives on the stigma, all right? Antoine, what is the definition of pollination? How do we say, a, 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 how do we know when a plant or flower is pollinated? A flower is pollinated when a pollen grain arrives to the stigma. Very good, Sharice. Gator, when is a plant a flower pollinated? Sharice Gator. Where's Sharice? Sharice, are you there? Yes, sir. Are you paying attention? Yes, sir. Um, what do we mean when we say a, plant, a flower is pollinated? When a pollinated green arrives on the stigma. On the stigma. So this right here is the stigma, right? So when this pollen green arrives on the stigma, the same pollen green, what I have in red, when that arrives on the stigma, we call that pollination. So let me enlarge the, let me enlarge this. Or we say that that the plant is pollinated. So let me let me um, enlarge this. So let's say that the pollen from the anther, right? The pollen from the anther goes to the stigma. What do we call that? What is this called, class? Stigma. Pollination. Oh. Let me try it. Let me try it again. 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 When the pollen from the anther goes to the stigma, what do we call that? Pollination. What do we call that class? Pollination. 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 All right. That's what we mean by pollination. So. A flower is pollinated when the pollen green arrives on the stigma. If the pollen green, if the pollen green, so we're gonna differentiate cell pollination versus the other type of pollination. So very important now, let me put this in blue. If the pollen, if the pollen green is carried from the anther to the stigma the stigma on the same on the same flower this is called this is called self pollination this is called self pollination 
So self pollination is when the self pollination is when is when we have the pollen, the pollen from the same plant, right? The pollen from the same plant arise in the stigma of the same flower. Use was with the uh -huh, that's self pollination. Go ahead. How does the pollen grain get there? Pollen grain get there. Number one, the wind. Number two, you have birds. Um, and the and insects drop them off. And insects, right? That's how it's carried. All right. That's why they say honey um bees is so important for pollination because um they could carry the pollen from one plant to the other or from the same plant. So uh this is called self pollination. Um now if now if it is carried it if it is carried to the stigma of of a different of a different flower it is called cross pollination so can someone differentiate for me the difference between self pollination and cross pollination what's the difference between self pollination and cross pollination Cross-pollination is more involuntary and self-pollination is like more voluntary. No. Um, um, Cross-pollination. Okay. Um, Cross-pollination is when you know what? Never mind. No. Anyone else want to try? Cross pollination is when. Go ahead, Sashni. Cross pollination is when the stigma it when the stig the pollen is carried from a different plant to the stigma of another plant, and then um self pollination is when it's from the same plant to the same plant. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Say it again, please. Uh, Self-pollination is mm -hmm. when the pollen is carried to the stigma of the same plant. Uh -huh. And then cross-pollination is when the pollen is carried from another plant to the stigma of Very another good. plant. Very good. All right. So let me show you cross-pollination. As I was saying, so these are two different flowers, right? Y'all can see that. Hello. Yes, sir. These are two yes, different sir, flowers, sir. right? Mm -hmm. Two different flowers. So here inside the anther, what we have, we have what pollen grains, right? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Now Ooh. let's say, for example, you have a bee or you have the wind, right? take this pollen grain and send it over to this plant or to this stigma. What is that? Is that self-pollination or cross-pollination? Cross-pollination. Cross-pollination. Why? Because uh, the have, pollen came from another plant. It comes yeah. from another, it come from externally, another plant. Externally. It happens externally. Exactly. From another plant. Right? So cross-pollination is when pollen grains come from a different plant, right? Come from a different plant and goes to the stigma of another plant as cross-pollination, cross-pollination, okay? Ajani, where's Ajani? Can you hear me, Ajani? Where's Ajani? Ajani, can you hear me? Ajani, can you hear me? Where's Ajani? I can't hear from Ajani. Ajani, can you hear me? Where's Ajani? Excuse me, Mr. Patit. May I be excused, please? Quickly. Um. Uh. What's her name? Um. 
Randolph, where's Randolph? Randolph? Yeah, hey, I'm here. What is cross pollination? What is cross pollination? Um, it's when plants cross pollinate. What is what is cross pollination? It's when plants cross pollinate. No, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? When I say cross pollination, that's when the uh, the pollen pollen, from one plant go to another one. The pollen from one plant goes to another plant. You understand that? Yes, sir. Now, what is self pollination? But Mr. Batiste, that's kind of like what I just said. Wait, 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 Randolph. Randolph just said something. Mr. Batiste, that's like kind of like what I said. No, 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 no. What you said was I said, what is cross pollination? And you say when plants cross pollinate. You can't, you can't explain it by using the same word. Okay. Oh, okay. So when I say what is cross pollination, you have to tell me that it's when pollen greens from the anther of one plant, right, goes to the stigma of the other plant. You see, you understand that? Yes, sir. Good. Now, what is self pollination? That's yeah. like when plants pollinate by themselves. Probably yes. with the help of them. So when, when pollen grains from the same plant, right, goes to the stigma of the same plant. All right? Again, the same thing. When the pollen grains from the same plant goes to the stigma of the what? Of the same plant. That's what we call what? Self-pollination. All right? So. Do you all understand that? Let me know if you all understand that, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, if pollen grain is carried from the anther of to the stigma of the same flower, it's called self pollination. If it's carried to the stigma of a different plant, it's called cross pollination. Um, let's continue. Meanwhile, my eyes. For some flowers, for some flowers, for some flowers, the pollen, the pollen is carried by what? By the wind? Insects. And for others, and for others, and for others, they are carried by insects. Or occasionally by what? By birds. So that's pollination. Let's talk about fertilization now. So this is reproduction. This is how plants reproduce. Um fertilization. Fertilization. So after after the pollen grain, after the pollen grain arrives on the stigma, on the stigma, fertilization takes place. So what happens? The pollen grain grows as a tube down through the style until it arrives in the ovary. The male cell in the pollen tube then fuses or joins with or joins with the what female cell in the ovule. This forms this forms a zygote, and a zygote is just basically a fertilized egg. 
which grows which grows into an embryo. Mr. Petit, that word sounds somewhat like a Pokemon just now. What embryo? No, zygote. Oh, zygote. Oh. Young plant. And inside the seed. Inside the seed. All right, so so basically, you have several things happening at once, right? So, um, the plant or the the pollen arrives on the stigma, right there. That's where the pollen arrives. The pollen is going to arrive right on the stigma, right there. Let me use a different color, say black. So the pollen arrives on the stigma, right? And then what happens to it? Well, the pollen grain grows as a tube down through the style until it reaches what? Until it reaches the ovary. Now, when it reaches the ovary, the male cell in the pollen tube, so inside the pollen tube, you have the male cell, it's going to join or fuse with the what? Female cell in the ovule, right? Right out. And then they're going to fertilize each other. So that fertilize, that fertilize um, cell, we call that the zygote. It's called a fertilized egg. Call it a zygote. And that's gonna grow into an embryo, and an embryo is a young plant inside the seed. Okay. And that's how reproduction happens in plants. All right. Um so what is a what is a zygote? What is a zygote? A fertilized, egg. a fertilized egg. What is it? What is an embryo? This no, also that is what is a young plant. A young plant. Now, embryo could also be for humans too. Embryo not on, that's not only for plants. Embryos is for humans too. Zygotes is for humans too. This kind of reminds you of the process that happens in humans too, right? With fertilization. The only thing is we don't have, we don't have pollination, but we have fertilization. We have um ovulation we have zygote we have um yeah, embryo and all them stuff all right so once you finish with your notes is anyone who's finished once you finish with your notes i um, am you can leave again once you finish good with your night. notes you can leave good night good night good night have a wonderful night good night have a wonderful night good night um take a picture of your notes take a picture of your notes take a picture of your notes and send it to me via whatsapp before you go Take a picture of your notes and send it to me via WhatsApp before you go. Um, again, take a picture of your notes and send it to me via WhatsApp yeah, before you go. Good night. Good night. Um, so we'll finish, so we'll finish. You don't finish? That's good. Leave it, leave it.